Hello, it's Jazz Rose. Today I'm doing a Princess Polly haul, but this is the biggest haul I have ever done. Not item wise, but this is the most expensive haul I have ever done. This is over a thousand dollars worth of clothes, and I'm so nervous to film it because I have. I, I'm just winging it. I have no idea how I'm going to go about this haul. Um. I do have some things to say first. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm all over the place. There is just so much to go through. I have no idea how long this video is going to go for. What you're about to see in this video is $1,100, well roughly, worth of outfits. Full outfits. I am not working with Princess Polly for this video. I am not collaborating with them at all. I did pitch this idea to them um, like two or three times but I never got a reply. If someone from Princess Polly is watching this, no hard feelings. I know my channel is like super micro small. I am a nobody. I get it. <laughs> anyway, so this is $1,100 worth of clothing, but I only spent like 800 and something dollars because I used a discount code. I'm gonna put in a clip of me actually buying these clothes. <laughs> I'm about to check out my total is $1,094 and I have 18 items. But before I check out, I would like to find a discount code because $1,094 is just, that's enough. I'm going to search for a smaller YouTuber who Princess Polly has worked with before. Because Princess Polly worked with me when I had like 17k subscribers. Um, so I know I'll find someone small. I'm going to use their discount code because Princess Polly actually tracks the discount codes and if enough people use them um, then they'll work with that YouTuber again and for small YouTubers it means so much to them. And that's what like every company does when they collaborate with an influencer. They track the um, discount codes, they track the affiliate links. That may or may not be why Princess Polly don't want to work with me again because not enough people use my code. Anyway, I'm going to find someone small and treat them to potentially working with Princess Polly again. I found this girl, Susan Carolyn. She has 27.8 subscribers. So I'm going to use her code Susan20. Thanks, Susan. I now have to pay only $875.40. Support smaller YouTubers, guys. It's very important and it means so much to them. All right, into the video. So I better talk about why I'm doing this video. <laughs> so on Princess Polly's Instagram, which I'll link down below, um, they occasionally post outfit photos, but they're just like the floor layout photos. So you don't see anyone actually wearing the outfits. You can see where this is going. Basically, I wanted to put their Instagram stylist to the test. I chose five very different trendy outfits and I bought every single item that was in the um, in the layout photo, if they were available. I thought this would be a really cool way to like try out other kind of styles because my style, like this is my style. I'm wearing trackies and a singlet. These are both from Princess Polly, by the way. <laughs> if you've seen my hauls before, it's just things that I like, obviously, because like I buy things because I like them. So yeah, I wanted to change up this haul a little bit and try different styles and see if I actually like different kind of styles. This is the box that everything came in. This small one on the top had some accessories in there. This, surprisingly, is not the biggest box I've received from Princess Polly. There's a video that I filmed months ago, like in September, October, November, I don't even know. And I still have not edited the video, but um, I'll put a clip of how big the box was. So this... This is <laughs> this is what I got. I'm gonna get started because I'm so excited to see what these items look like on me. I am a medium-sized girl, by the way. I've got a big chest. Um, I don't have the smallest waist. I'm gonna be linking everything below, so I'll put my sizes down there as well. I'm sorry if this has been all over the place. Like I said at the start of the video, I'm just winging it. I'm filming this video the easiest way that I can. <laughs> now let's get started, shall we? This is the first outfit that I'm going to be trying on today. This is the dressiest out of them all. So here is the dress. This is the forbidden mini dress in beige. It's quite sheer and it feels kind of silky. It does crease very easily as you can probably see. It's basically a shirt dress 
it has pretty wide sleeves as you can see um but it's got it's got this tie up detail on each of the sleeves and it also has a tie up bit around the waist as well to cinch you in shirt dresses in my opinion are pretty dressy but with adding these details it just it makes it even more like elegant looking <laughs> and this cost me 75 Australian dollars all the prices are gonna be in Australian dollars the bag I got is the Peter and Jane Pax bag in black this costs 59.95 Australian dollars um, the material is like it's silky material like can you see the shine in that it's not really that shiny it's like a matte silky <laughs> now I haven't taken the plastic off these bits for like any of the bags because I'm probably going to be returning all this stuff because it is a lot of money and I need the money back. <laughs> so I don't know if I rip this plastic, if they're going to accept the return. I don't know. I might risk it for a biscuit when I actually try the whole outfit together. I haven't decided yet. <laughs> I really like the chain detail. It just... I don't know, it makes it look better than just a plain black bag. I only own one handbag anyway, so I might even keep this. These are the shoes that I got. These are the Bisu, Bisu, I don't know how to pronounce it, um, woven heels. And these cost $79. I don't know if I can walk in heels this big, so we'll see how I go. Um, I like the woven detail on here, but um, yeah, I don't know if these will even fit my feet. I just got a size 9 for everything. <laughs> and this is the last thing to complete the outfit. This is the Athena gold plated necklace. It's this big chunky chain. It has quite a bit of weight to it. It costs $89. So like at least it doesn't feel cheap. It actually feels like it's worth $89. That outfit altogether cost $302.95. Now it's time to show you what it looks like. Hello and welcome to my office. Before I show you the first outfit, I just want to say, here's the camera. That is the wall. They are four meters apart. And I still don't think if I stand against the wall, you can see me properly. <laughs> and that, my friends, is why I can't show you my whole body in my regular haul videos. <laughs> anyway, I took the plastic off the bag. The dress, I think, took me like 10-15 minutes to figure out because the, um, the string is so long and I don't know how it's meant to be tied up. It's not that bad, but it is really, really see-through. Here is the necklace, by the way. This $90 necklace that I probably got makeup on already. And here are the shoes! I can't walk in them properly! I, I think a size 9 is a bit too tight for me. It fits me lengthwise and like widthwise, but the strap is pretty tight. But what do you think of this outfit as a whole? It's, it's nice. I really I like that. the bag. I love the bag. I don't know how I'd feel like, let's say I'm going out somewhere. And I have to just walk around with the bag like this. I don't know how I'd feel. Because the strap isn't long enough to just have it like that. I don't know. I'm not a bag person. <laughs> but yeah, here is the first outfit. Tell me what you think. Here is the next outfit photo. Um, I hate this vest style. I don't get why it's so popular. It gives me Cody from Sweet Life of Zack and Cody vibes. <laughs> the tennis skirt trend I do love, but I never look good in the tennis skirts. So I don't know how this outfit's gonna look. There's the top that I don't like, and then the skirt that doesn't look good on me. So we'll see. So the vest is the Carla Vest Blue. This material is really nice. It's soft, it's stretchy, it's thick, but not too thick. It's just not my kind of thing. This costs $60, by the way. Next up is the Lucid mini skirt in white. I like how it's like, it's like fitted at the front bit. I don't have three hands. I don't know how to show you. Um, I hope you can see it. It's like fitted at the top and it's like flaring out at the bottom. So it kind of like, it's fitted around your stomach and your waist and stuff. And then where it matters, 
it flares out. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this came in a ton of colors and it cost 50 bucks. For shoes, I got the Tessa sneakers and they cost $89. And for the bag, they actually pictured the Peter and Jane Tyra bag in black. But before I was ready to actually buy everything, it went out of stock. So I got the Peter and Jane Paloma nylon bag in black. Both bags cost $69.95. This bag has silver details. I don't know what you'd be able to fit in here. Like a phone, some lipstick, maybe a really small wallet. <laughs> if I was to put my current wallet in here, it'd be the only thing that goes in here. <laughs> that whole outfit cost $268.95. <gasps> Thank you, sugar daddy. I'm a rich white girl. I don't like the top. It's a good material. It's made very well, but I just don't like I don't like it. I don't like the trend. The shoes are nice. The skirt is a little on the tight side. I got a size 12, I'm pretty sure. Um, you can see like my fat poking out. It's an all right length though. Like it's, it's short, but it's not as short as I thought it would be. This bag is so nice. I want to keep it. I probably will. I don't know how well you can see it, but this is the outfit as a whole. You'll see a photo at the end anyway, but yeah. What do you think of this one? I think this might be my least favorite out of all of them. The skirt just doesn't fit the best and I don't like the pattern here, so I, I don't know. What do you think? This next outfit, I don't think I could ever picture myself in it until I try it on soon. It's like a mix of streetwear and casual. I can't really show you properly, but this is the Harlow set in blue. I love this color of blue. It's like cobalt, cobalt. I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> cobalt blue. <laughs> Sound like an idiot. <laughs> this color is so trendy right now and it's so pretty, but I don't know if I love this set. <laughs> the top is very cropped. I definitely have to try this on without a bra. And here are the shorts. They're pretty long. Um, and the set is made out of like jumper material, hoodie material. It's, it's thick. This will definitely keep you warm if you decide to wear a singlet and short set on a cold day. It'll keep you warm. The bag pictured is the same bag that I just showed you for the last outfit. This is the Paloma nylon bag in black. The sandals were the Miami sandals in white, but I could not find them at all on the Australian website. They might be on the American Princess Polly website. It's not like they were sold out of like all the sizes. They was just not on the website. So I can't tell you guys a price or anything, but they were probably like 60 to $70. So instead I will be um, putting on my $10 Kmart sandals. It's not gonna look the same, but at least they're white. <laughs> I got a hat. I love the color of this hat. It's like faded black. This is the NV cap in black. That cost $49.95. And I also got some sunnies. These are called the Creeper sunglasses in black and they cost $55. The whole outfit together, not including the sandals because I couldn't find a price, is $249.90. All right. Ignore my boobs, okay? <laughs> I just finished taking photos in this outfit and there is so much makeup on the glasses. But here's what they look like. Cause they're called the creeper sunglasses. Are they meant to be worn like this? I don't know. I don't wear sunglasses very much because I need prescription sunglasses. So the only time I wear them is when I'm driving. <laughs> Am I crazy or are these like kinda nice? I don't know. I like the hat wearing my $10 Kmart sandals. Can't go wrong with that. This is very small for my chest. The shorts fit okay. I reckon I should have gone a size up though. I can't see anything with these sunnies on. What do you think? I would have loved to try the white sandals that were in the layout photo, but these will have to do. Still love the color, even though this set isn't really good for me. Let me know what you think. Here is the next outfit. I love the blue vibes. I just fell in love with the butterfly dress. I don't know why. So here we have the butterfly dress. This is called the Cameron mini dress. The material is the first thing I noticed about this dress. This is like, I don't even know how to explain it. It's so 
soft like it's fun to feel <laughs> the inside of it is like white stretchy fabric and then the outside of it is a layer of mesh and the butterflies are printed on the mesh the really thin straps are very worrying for someone who has extremely heavy boobs i feel like these could break easily but I don't know, Princess Polly's clothes are very good quality, like I don't see them actually breaking. I don't know, I just, I'd be scared of them breaking. It's got cup seams where your boobs should go. Um, I read the reviews and someone said this dress is suitable even for someone with a larger chest. I don't believe them. <laughs> the shoes are the Tessa sneakers for $89. I showed these with the vest and skirt outfit. The bag that was pictured, I didn't get. They were out of stock. It's the Piper bag in baby blue, and that cost $59.95. But instead, I got the Peter and Jane Paloma bag in blue, which cost $69.95, so just $10 extra. Now, that was all that was mentioned in the caption. But I did see some earrings, some silver earrings. These are the Halley Hoop earrings in silver and they cost $15. And that whole outfit together cost $228.95. Here is the next outfit. I'm holding my earring in. I'll just show you these now just in case this falls out. These were optional. Um, I had to like re-pierce this hole and now it's really sensitive. I couldn't clip it. It was hurting my ear really bad. So uh, I'm just going to leave it out. My ear was bleeding before. So, same sneakers as the vest and skirt outfit. This bag goes so well with the dress, but unfortunately, the dress just isn't that good for me. My boobs are way too heavy and way too big. But yeah, I love how all the colors just, they just work. I really like the dress, but yeah, just, just not for me. It is kind of short though. Can you see the whole thing? It'd look a lot better if I had two earrings, but um, but yeah, that's, 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 yep, yeah. cool. We're up to the last outfit now. I wasn't sure about getting this outfit because of the jeans and the bag, but I know I'm not gonna be like returning them afterwards. <laughs> so I just went for it. This new trend of, I don't know if it's new, but um, the trend of like paneling jeans, like different colors and making it frayed and stuff. I don't know if I like that. I've seen a lot of jeans like that on Princess Polly and I don't think it's my kind of style. And the bag, it's just very out there. But obviously this is just for the video and I should shut up. <laughs> so these are the jeans. I will say I got these in a size 14. Um, I usually go a size 10 or a 12 in jeans. I wanted to go a size 12 in these, but they were out of stock. And I was kind of worried like if the size 14s were gonna be too big. But I tried these on the other day and a size 14 almost doesn't fit me. They're quite on the small side. So if you wanna buy these jeans, these jeans right here, um, if you wanna buy them, make sure you size up because otherwise you might have to exchange them for a bigger size. Anyway, these are called the Outcast Straight Leg Panel Jeans and they cost $80. This is the Darlington Crop Top. This cost $35. This is the bag. I thought it was just like a simple tote bag, but look, it's got a little pocket in the inside. <laughs> Schnazzy. This is called the Bengal Babe Tote Bag and it cost $20. These are the shoes. They are the Billany Zach Flats. These actually look like they might be too big. They're a size nine. We'll see. It's got Velcro straps, so I'll I'll make it fit. I don't know. <laughs> and lastly, we have something I already showed you. These are the Creeper sunglasses. I'll show you again to remind you. <laughs> and they cost $55. And that last outfit cost $279.95 altogether. Here's the last outfit. Remember I said these were a 14 um, and I was going to get a size 12? I should have gotten a size 16. Look how tight they are. And they're not even high-waisted. <laughs> I need the creeper glasses again for this outfit. So the bag, no, not my style. I love the top. I think I might keep this top. It's like the kind of basic top that you can dress up or dress down. And I want it. <laughs> the shoes are too big. They're very loose on me. But they're a nice style of casual sandal. I can't really move very well in the jeans because they are like super tight but even if they did fit they're not something that i would want to keep but yeah 
What do you think? I need to stop doing this with the glasses. <laughs> what do you think of this outfit as a whole? I think I liked it better in the photo on the ground. <laughs> Yeah, what do you think? I like the pants. You like the pants? What about the bag? Yeah, because it's like a zebra pants. Yeah. <laughs> and there you have it guys, that was the biggest most expensive haul I've ever done. I hope you enjoyed it. I think I've lost maybe a couple of hundred dollars, so um Make sure to like this video, leave a comment below, subscribe, it really does help me. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, comment below your favourite item or your favourite outfit as a whole. And also let me know if you would like me to do another one of these videos again in the future, maybe, I don't know. Follow me on Instagram, I might post photos of these outfits over there. And if you want to see more of my videos, I do fashion hauls and I try out fitness challenges. Make sure you subscribe if you're not already. I'll see you guys in my next video, goodbye.